Aaron is back to show us how to make the coffee. And, you know, I feel like there was a lot of excitement about the pod machines years ago. You mentioned you had a pod machine. I use a pod machine, even though I put my own fresh grounds in there. A lot of people sort of made that move back to more old-fashioned ways of making coffee because we were all at home. And I think that that's kind of sticking, you know? Like, people want to stick with these methods because they kind of make the best coffee. They make very, very good coffee. They're easy to do. They don't take yeah. that much more time. And it's about yeah. the ritual. It's about the process. It's that whole kind of slow living thing, the idea yes. of self-care. For me, getting up in the morning, the first thing I do, let I stumble out of bed, let the dog out the back door, yes. and grind that coffee. Yes. And that's how my day starts. And isn't that like just the cue, oh my the God. smell of the grinding I'm of the beans? I'm literally waking like, up. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so we're going to discuss three different ways, yes. uh, sort of old-fashioned ways to make your coffee, uh, starting with this guy here. Starting with the French press, but yes. first we have to talk about the planning behind it. Let's talk about the planning. The baristas will tell you it's about ratios. Okay. Fresh grinding your beans fresh and the yes. ratio to, of coffee to water. Right. So all the recipes will be up on the website, so you'll be able to... Check it out. Do it at least the right way once. <laughs> and then you can, listen, I'm a total eyeballer. And then eyeball yeah. after that, for okay. sure. Okay, you can freestyle it afterwards. Yes. But learn the right way to do it. It's cityline.tv uh, for these recipes. And uh, I've got to say, this French press is very, it's very chic. It's a very chic French press. I this is the it. Espro, Canadian design. And very it nice. is a really upgraded the French press experience. Yeah. Because it is has double filtration. And it's also a, a, a thermal one, too. Okay. So keep the coffee much warmer. So I'm going to get you to press nice. that down right now. So basically, uh, originally you would use a coarser grind and have it in there longer. Yeah. So we're doing a, a medium grind and we're doing shorter. We're doing around three minutes. And the coffee okay. we're using is Barocco's. This is their Alto, mm -hmm. which is 100% Arabica, and that has notes of milk, chocolate, and almond in it. Oh, my God. Absolutely Can I just delicious. eat these beans? That's the best combination I've ever heard of. There we go. Milk, chocolate, and almond. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can actually... I'm going to smell it. So how long does this usually take? This is what my husband does. Normally does five press. minutes, but we're going for three minutes because yeah. of the quality of the coffee. Higher quality coffee. Yeah. These days, we're looking at more of a medium roast as a, uh, instead of a dark roast because of the better flavors, less burnt tasting as well. Right. And that's what's going to change up and give us a great drink. We'll try it shortly. Okay, got it. Let's, let's give it some time to rest there. Yes. The second way The to second do it. way is the way I do it at home, which is with a stovetop espresso. This is the mm. Bialetti. So the trick here actually is to fill it with with hot or boiling water first. Okay. Everyone goes, what? What? But that is really the key. And it goes up. The water line is underneath where the valve is. Okay. And then coffee goes into the little uh, portable unit here and mm -hmm. gets dropped in loosely in there as well, not packed in. No tamper. No tamper. And then I actually brew mine with the lid up. So I know when it's finished oh. and I pull it right off afterwards. Okay. So if you're putting boiling water in there... It's going to speed up the process. Speed up the is process, and it means that you are not going to get burnt tasting coffee. Okay, very it good. It is a revolutionary thing, let me tell you, for sure. Can you, you actually that. put that top onto that bottom so we can see how that looks? Absolutely. So I'll screw that on there. And the coffee yeah. we're doing with this is the Centrale from Barocco, which has notes of caramel and brown sugar in it. Oh, so delicious. Absolutely delicious. That design, uh, like, it's, it's stood the test of time, am the, I right? The Aletti unit really has stood the test of time. And from a quality perspective, this is the one I would go with. I've yeah. tried lookalikes. Yes. Never as good. Oh, okay, good to Never know. Never as good. Well, thank you for that insider info. There we go. Okay, let's t talk about the very last way last to do way it. Last way is the most, probably the most new wave hipster way of doing it, which yeah. is the pour over. Yeah. So we have the Grosch unit here, which is a two piece, includes this um, great double uh, metallic filter, pops in the top there. And the coffee we're doing with this is Barocco's Wush Wush, which is an Ethiopian blend, really mm. fantastic, absolutely amazing. Coffee, again, medium grind in here. Okay. And you are going to do the bloom first, which means the coffee gets ground, goes in. The bloom, the bloom everyone. The grounds get wet. Yes. Slightly first in a circular motion. Yeah. Allowed to stand for a minute or two. Mm -hmm. And then you come back and you do the actual pour on top. Mm -hmm. And that is when the actual coffee will come down into the base there and it's ready to go. Okay. The other thing you can always think about doing too, especially with the, uh, the carafe of the, this guy and mm -hmm. also this guy, is to preheat them too. A little bit of hot water through them. Oh. And just so you're not making hot into cold, you know? It's right. So that yeah. it's not the shock of that. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I? You can. Let's pour it. Okay. So I know you don't normally do black, but let's give this a taste. But you know what? When the coffee's really good, yes. you know, sometimes you can get away with it. When I'm in Jamaica, the Blue Mountain coffee, 
Uh, I feel like we should very, cheers. Very, very good. Cheers. Let's do it. Cheers. Try it. Oh, it's very good. Yeah. And you know, I like my coffee sweet. So if I'm liking this, it's very well done. I think I did a great job. I think you did a great job. <laughs> Aaron, thank you so much.